friends in this lecture we learn about if s if you remember this example we did uh, earlier in the chapter where we learned about nested if and we solved it like this we put an if and bracket open and check this value if it is greater than 60 and if it is greater than 60 then output should be first division first invert comma close comma but if it is not 60 greater than 60 then what we have to do we have to put another if bracket open we check this value greater than 50 and if yes then answer is second inverted comma close comma if not then another if bracket open and we check this value d5 if it is greater than 33 and if yes we put it third and if not then we put it fail inverted comma close and we have to close three brackets for three ifs and we use this method to find out whether the candidate is uh, first, second or third or fail. Right here you see candidates are first and two candidates are fail. And this was the method that we used. There is another method which we can use it. Another function is if s. If s is like multiple if combined together in single function. And we have to write down if s then bracket open. After that what I suggest you is you go up here on the formula bar and click this fx. As soon as you click fx you will have this argument window open and here you can put your formulas. The first option is logical test. Move it a little like this. The first is logical test and the logical test says what we have to check it. D6 yes sorry D5 can be greater than 60 that is the first logical test that we have to check. And if it is greater than 60, then we have to answer is should be first. That is our output. If not, then our second test is this thing should be greater than. This is exactly what we have written in the if statement, if you remember. And here we have to write down second. Then logical test 3 is if D5 or D5 is greater than 33, right? Then we have to write, we go down here, we have to write here third. And if D5 is less than or equal to 33, then we have to write fail. After that, you click outside somewhere in another cell like this. So that the inverted commas appear automatically in the last one and then you can go and click OK and you see the answer comes up here and now you can drag it down and see the rest of the answers. So this is one simple formula that makes it uh, quite easy to use nested if in this manner.